Now, the Nahida Banner 4 stars just got released, and I gotta be honest with you, I have a couple reservations about it, but also there's gonna be a couple of you out there who's gonna find the four stars on here awesome. Now, first we need to talk about Nahida real quick. She is going to be an all-star character. If you're someone that wants to play around with dendro-related reactions in the future, she just applies it so fast and consistently while either being able to be built for a full support or your own damage dealer, there's so many things you can do with her. I think it's gonna be a big misstep if we miss out on Nahida. And that's not even talking about all the nice free-to-play access weapons etc that she's gonna have for all you players razor is on the banner now hold up before you go anywhere listen how he does have a lot of things that he's lacking he's fallen off tremendously as far as his efficiency in genshin impact he just likes to hit things with a great sword over and over for intense physical damage however he is going to get something that he was sorely lacking which is someone who can consistently apply a cryo over and over and over so you can superconduct with razor before you had to rely on like Diona or Kea, but in the second part of 3.2, we're gonna get access to Layla, who is one of the larger shields in Genshin Impact, and also is gonna work extremely well with Razor. Basically, she's gonna be applying Cryo over and over. If you know anything about that character, it's gonna work really well with the low cooldown on Razor's Claw and Thunder. She's gonna be throwing out little Cryo things for Superconduct. They're gonna be an awesome team. Now, there is some cool stuff that Razor could do potentially in the future. He has a lot of things going for him with his intense attack speed. He's really missing a character like a Yunjin that Noel has, Yunjin. For example, we've seen stuff like Goro and Yunjin for Noel to really make her stronger. We don't really have access to someone to bump up physical damage with additional multipliers, adding crit damage to physical characters. Once we have access to some of that, you might see Razor sort of come back into the limelight using his incredible attack speed with Layla and maybe some other characters in the future. Could be cool to pick up on some of the more important constellations if you don't have them. The crit rate one is one of the ones that was nice back in the day, but honestly, the one that you're really looking for is Claw and Thunder will decrease defense by 15%, which is fantastic, and is by far and away his best one. C6 is pretty nice. However, his mainstay damage is going to be physical, and this is electro damage, so it's not the craziest thing ever. And honestly, if Razor does become super meta, it's not gonna be anytime soon. So you're gonna have opportunities to find him on other rerun banners, find him in the shop for that C4 at one point. I wouldn't really pull on the banner for him, but his future looks like it could be pretty cool. Now, an easier one to cover real quick is the Benny boy. He's on the banner. If you don't have access to Benny yet, you just started playing Genshin Impact with Suru 3.0 and your friends got you in here. Benny is gonna be one of the best characters for you to head to your account. If you already have one Bennett, then another thing you could get real quick is gonna be his C1, the Grand Ex Expectation. I thought it was the Grand Expedition, whatever. But anyway, this one's awesome. It adds an additional attack bonus to the bonus attack that Bennett is giving you. Basically, you're just gonna get more attack. Now, the final one is gonna be Noelle. She is returning on the banner. If you know anything about her, if you do put a lot of love and affection on her, she does a ton of damage. I've used her since basically the game launched. Mine is now hitting for with the proper team compositions, 60, 70, 80,000 damage on a lot of stuff, maybe even more while healing and shielding my team. Um, I do have one of the most loved Noels in the game. One of the things that you do want to get, though, if you're a brand new player, you've been having fun with Noel, C1 to get the extra increased healing rate to 100% instead of 50, so it's not RNG. If you have both your shield on and your elemental burst active, is amazing and actually makes her uh, a pretty decent healer for quite a long time as you're going through the game because 50% to 100% proc rate is actually quite substantial while her shield is up. And then obviously you've probably heard about it at the C6 is absolutely insane. You get an additional 50% of your defense to your attack and that is additive. So if you take your C6 and level 13 sweeping time, you're gonna add 50% on top of that. That's 135% of your defense to your attack, which was gonna end you up to like, you know, 5,000 attack. It's pretty powerful. You guys don't need to know a whole bunch of stuff about Noel. Maybe we'll do some videos on her. I know you know that I love her. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Have a good day out there, and I'll see you in the next one.